Six thirty. We'll open the meeting. Um, we do have a need to amend the agenda to add into the Planning Commission's letter to PUC. Also, we're um, discussing solar siting language and the adoption process. And then we have um, to consider approval of the following permits: second class alcohol and tobacco license for Keith's, and first class and third class alcohol license for the Hilltop LLC. You just have to adjourn, select, or recess. Yep. Select. Yep. Do I have a motion to uh, adopt the uh, so agenda moved. as amended? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Anything on the meeting minutes of May 17th? Okay. That was a lot going on in that meeting. <laughs> I know. Well, this, so when Lisa Wright explained that the applicant can, or right, wrong thing. Um, Ms. Wright explained that the status of the building is in disrepair and is good for community functions. Is that what she told us? That sounds contrary. contrary. Well, they have, they do, uh, they already have community functions going in there. Yeah. Okay, I just was making sure that's what she said just because. Right. Yep, yeah. I couldn't remember. Yeah, they're in the pavilion too. Okay. That's yeah. good. Concrete's been poured this week actually. And then <coughs> The other one was uh, Jim Rademacher inquired if there was any way of convincing the state and Chair Malay stated that the request was made and denied. We just said that we had asked, right? That was when I'd, I had mentioned to him that I we... Think, I think what he was trying to get is <coughs> if, if the state could convince us or you guys that it was a good idea not to have really Okay. I thought it was when he, I, he was asking if the state would re, like, kind of come, possibly come back and... Right. And tell us why yeah, the yeah. idea was better. Right, okay. But it's minor. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Did anybody else have anything? Okay. All right. Town manager report. Okay. There's a report in here that Jen gave me for rec. I don't need to read it if you, if you, don't, if you guys don't need it. It's just I, it's pretty lengthy, too. So I can if you want. Um, so, so we've received the permit from VTrans to replace and repair the existing asphalt sidewalks along Route 7 from the Catholic Church to the northerly intersection of Arch Street. Um, during the next few weeks, the highway department will be removing the existing sidewalk and prepping the base for installation of new asphalt sidewalks. Um, the gearbox that was approved for uh, use ARPA money on has been installed on the micro screener at the wastewater treatment plant. Uh, Sean and Tyler have been spring cleaning around the wastewater plant. They've also been brush cutting around the wells and the pump stations. Uh, Otter Creek is still performing property inspections for the lead and copper survey. Uh, we've been assisting them with locating uh, on marking uh, curb stops. The new dock has been installed at the pond at the rec park. Uh, highway's been performing shoulder work and culvert replacement on Fire Hill Road. And uh, we have received $18,000 from the VTrans Grants and Aid Program for uh, fiscal year 24, so that will start July 1. Um, this is the annual grant that funds stormwater and runoff mitigation on our gravel roads. Um, after researching the possibility of outsourcing payroll, the consensus is that we would currently prefer to keep it in-house. Um, the cost benefit hasn't, we decided, hasn't been significant enough to make the change. Um, and we had some other issues too with the union so um, we might revisit it in the future but so I have a question on that we voted to do that so why is something we voted on to do now be because the union's not letting us do it remember we talked about it last I missed that part in that discussion and I thought when are we going to continue yeah. discussing that in executive yeah, yeah. So, so we are have an executive yes. we are, yeah 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 I, Go ahead, Dan. Okay. yeah I don't remember that actually ending up that way the Vermont municipal retirement right uh, right we ran it would take them two months to build what they need to process them mm -hmm. oh so they don't have the ability it no. did change about the that's to that's do different the yeah that one company or did you check both just the one the one that we had the board approved so well, no, we didn't approve one. We approved what you suggested. Okay, we, so yeah, we it was ADP, two. so, yeah. Yeah, we can follow up with the other one, too. Yeah. But yeah. We can talk about it yeah. later. Yeah, okay. Sorry. 
Um, and then Mark had asked me to follow up on tire what tires were replaced on the backhoe, and just for information, the backhoe is a 2016 JCB that's accumulated 3,013 work hours, and this was the first time the tires have been replaced since its date of purchase. So hmm. we got seven years out of them. Um, and we've been awarded a passive grant of $5,500, and I realized I didn't type the rest of the sentence. It's for safety <laughs> equipment at the highway garage. So. Um, it wasn't free to spend. What was it for again? Um, they do safety grants for stuff if we need like roll up signs or I can't remember what Chad had. He had a list of a few things on it. So, and it's a hundred percent. So, you know, whatever we get up to $5,500, a hundred percent grant funded. So, um, and then just a couple of things just that I did this week, uh, Alicia and I attended the legislative breakfast with the governor at, uh, the South station on Monday morning. That was pretty informative. Yeah. Um, and uh, I attended the uh, Preservation Trust uh, conference yesterday in Stratford, um, which was well, like the Village Farm was there actually, and they were they were represented there, well, which was nice. But it was good, you know. There's there's a lot of funding out there for those these kinds of historic projects, and it's cool to see their successes. So, um, and uh, yeah, so that's all I have tonight, I guess. Um, any select board member remarks? But uh, money that's uh, safety money that's going to for the highway department. <coughs> Why couldn't they use that to pay for the tires for the for the loader? Because it only like covers safer to have them new tires, and it wouldn't be the Yeah, it only covers them. certain things. <laughs> like right. we could get like <laughs> you know, we could get like the jack stands for like if the bodies are up on the trucks yeah, or yeah, stuff yeah. like that. It's it's pretty limited to what it is. Yeah, they won't fund tires for us. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I know another thing. I just want to tell you. I did. Anne Anne had printed this off the internal financial controls checklist for municipalities, and I, I think I had it in my notes there. If you guys could just look at it and actually. Yeah. Do the survey and get it back to us. It's it's good for auditing too. So okay, mm -hmm. I'm gonna put that aside or I'll forget. <coughs> Mark, uh, Kevin Blow from the Planning Commission asked me to put an invitation out to any select board members that would like to attend their meeting next. I think it's next Thursday, the fifteenth. It's not the regular day. Is that the fifteenth, David? It's the fifteenth. Oh, we. Somebody didn't change the calendar. Oh. But if you turn behind it's like you, ten of them in here. Anyway, well, I think it's the fifteenth. Yeah. It's the fifteenth. Yeah, it said it in our minutes that I read today. <laughs> so the yep. the solar developer involved with Outback Acres is going to do the presentation via Zoom for the planning commission. So you wanted to extend the invitation if anybody wanted to go from 15th? the select board. Yeah. That's, that's the fifteenth here. Yes, and what that time? is 7 o'clock, and I'm sure they'll do it first after they get started. Okay. <coughs> Does anyone else have anything? <coughs> um, any public comment? I thought, so nobody from the Planning Commission is planning on coming? <laughs> I'm surprised. <coughs> um, all right, because that's our first agenda um, item. So, planning commission letter to PUC. But I guess <coughs> we have nothing to. I thought they were going to be here with the letter. No. I haven't seen a letter. Okay. All right. I, mean, I I sent a letter. You know, when we did the motion to intervene. Right. Um, that basically. I should know. I just looked at it today with Ann. I'm trying to remember what's on it. What were the, the issues that we brought up at the site visit? Yeah. Um, so that's already been filed, and that's what okay. you know. That's what gave us the party status for the motion to intervene. Mm -hmm. I did see today actually that they've extended um, the schedule for for public input <coughs> too. So it's I, okay. can't, I can't remember the date now. I'd have to look it up, but it was it was extended to like July something. Okay. So. Yeah, because I do believe they're planning on sending their own letter. That's that, right when we're at that. I kind of had that feeling, but so. I didn't see it. All right, well then I guess. Well, but if they're if I mean, if, they're if, if they're what, but if they're coming in a week, they're probably holding off until they've actually yeah. heard the presentation. That's okay. probably what they're doing. Yeah, I would guess. 
All right, well then, um, kind of an addendum to that, I guess, is um, <coughs> solar siting language that we had asked them to write up. <laughs> no, I put Did it you back. give it back to me? I gave it back. Oh, boy, there it goes. Maybe okay. you should have it. I put it on front of your thing <coughs> on the table tonight. So, and this is just, has everybody had a chance to read it? The solar siting language that the planning commission came up with? I'll just read it, and it's just something, I mean, this is going to be a process anyways of getting into the town plan, so this is just kind of just the beginning of the conversation, but, um, <coughs> so this, again, written by the, um, Mike Norris, actually, of the planning commission. Um, ground mounted solar rays in excess of 150 kilowatts must demonstrate a local public need that outweighs adverse impacts to local residents. The public benefit must be documented for municipal support of new solar facilities located within or which may otherwise affect Pittsford. Facility development must benefit Town of Pittsford and state residents, businesses, and property owners in direct proportion to the impacts of the proposed development. In addition to the above conditions, projects greater than 150 kilowatts are subject to conditional approval from both Planning Commission and Select Board. So that's just something for, I guess, everyone to think about as we move forward. It's vague. <laughs> so. Well, I wonder why they're picking on just bigger than 150. Mm -hmm. Why isn't it all? I mean, there's, you know, and it's very vague. Well, and they had, than they had some reasoning. Yeah, I mean, I just, remember what it was, can you? I mean, just <coughs> the bigger ones are more intrusive. I mean, that's the ones that usually get the most. Is there a size? Yeah. Was that an acreage coverage or something uh, they went with? There was, and I can't remember. Acre? Is that what that equal? I don't know. Wasn't it 150, yeah, it was like small. three acres? Like 150 kilowatts Maybe is small. It's, it's pretty small. So I, I did. Yeah, I'd rather have one big one in town yeah. than 50 little ones myself. Like, I know. I Like I said, I, I thought they were going to be here tonight. Where it is. Just discuss where they were coming yeah. from with this. I, but. Yeah. I did give you guys all a copy of the statute to yep. for how to adopt this and if we're considering putting it in the town plan. Right. I, I think would be good. Yeah. And maybe do the, the energy one that was done back in like 2020. Maybe. I was it that only in 2020? It was a, I think it was a standalone that was yeah, done after the town plan went through without it. And then they did the standalone <coughs> afterwards. Okay. Um, but this, they, they passed this, right, to be amended in the town plan that's come to us. That's what the planning commission did. Well, what I just read? Yeah. Did they actually vote on it? Yeah, they did. I guess so. Yeah, they did. Okay. So, right, so, so that's when our, it comes to us. That's to, why it's right. sitting with us because mm -hmm. they voted on it. And right, okay. Didn't Pittsburgh, <coughs> when we had that <coughs> windmill proposal over on the West Mountains there, Pittsburgh, didn't they put in, didn't we uh, come up with some new regulation to kind of uh, combat that Hubbardton? Oh, the one over at yeah, Grandpa's one, Knob? Yeah. Right. That, that was a big, big to do. I don't think we did anything. It just didn't, I thought we it didn't go through. No, no. There's, I think there's height restrictions on the high elevations. That wasn't done at that time, though, right? No, not that, that time. But that was already was that in there. there. That was already in there. Yeah. That was in there back when we redid the town plan. We, we right. put that stuff in. Well, I guess the energy room. plan, we did, if I remember right, there was they want us to put this huge energy plan in the town plan, which that time the planning commission wasn't in favor of going through all right. what the state wanted to write in there. Right. So after they're done with the town plan, then they did the piggy pack, and it's it's very basic, just you know, um, site coverage by plants, mm -hmm. um, uh, money for the decommissioning. Those yeah. were a couple of things that were in it. Yeah. It's it's in. You've got it right. So that, the energy yeah. plan, yeah. But Dave thought if we were going to do this language, that that energy plan should be part of it for the right. one amendment. So. Did you want to consider doing something with the with the solar thing, like the town prefers, like ground fields, gravel pits? That's why I know maybe I would like to see a little bit more specific so kind of thing. Yeah, and I'll just because I think you know I think where we're going. I don't want to speak for everyone else. That it's not anti-solar. It's just again having preferred sites right. where they make more sense or less. From what they were talking about, if you were there with me at the meeting. Yeah. They were going to work on this farther, but they wanted to start the process right. with vague language mm -hmm. so at least they had status. Yep. And I think yep. that was all about so they had to say. Right, okay. That was all it was about. And I think what they planned on doing was spending more time on this. Yeah. So at least for the new town plan or mm -hmm. 
but they wanted to get the process started with some language so they have status. Because if you don't have language in there, then there's no status. Right, okay. Do you, would you entertain like maybe me researching some other towns with their language just so they have it for reference to maybe see what this is I think yeah. they pulled it off of here. Yeah, well, that's Dave would would the town. they have any information that would be helpful? Well, but the, R, the RPC would. Regional Planning Commission would be helpful with that. I I, I know their their plan is extensive, but you gotta remember they gotta cover it county wide. So right. twenty seven towns. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's like forty pages. Well, yeah. I mean we did the same thing in the other town I used to work in. So you know, with taking it and actually like refining it to within the community so that was quite a that's why we went to that yeah. or at that time that yeah because it was extremely intrusive yeah. i can check yeah. with the league and see if yeah. there's something there but that it might be out of their <coughs> out of their league actually mm -hmm. um, yeah. but let me i mean if you if you don't mind i mean i can certainly you know just pull some and see yeah. what other towns have done so i think that's a good idea like i said we're starting just starting this ball rolling so yeah let's get more information and more ideas so you want a table doing anything with this till Yeah, I think we, yeah, I do. Right. <coughs> Does anybody else have anybody in, want to say anything about solar before we move on? Okay, that'll be an ongoing conversation, so. Um, okay, well, we'll skip around um, due to uh, audience members. So if we wanted to discuss to start the uh, loader purchase conversation. Oh, sure. Um, <laughs> we are skipping it. So, um, in your packets, there's there are three proposals for for a new loader. Um, I did have a sheet I, that had um, the cut, like what we've had to do. I can't find it right now. here. Oh, that, um, uh, mine. thanks, Mark. Twenty-two thousand we've spent on it. Already? So it shows like what work has been done to it and everything, um, and it's time for a new one. So, yeah. um, Chad had, had gotten quotes from from G Stone Commercial and Milton Cat and uh, John Deere. Mm -hmm. um, so yeah, they're all in front of you guys. Um, I mean, obviously, it's nice to have service. You know, right up the road, as we know, we just went through with a truck that getting it towed to Jericho all the time is <coughs> takes a lot of time away from the guys, and um, right. so. But um, we went up and actually looked at the Doosan too. Chad ran it for a while; he really liked it. Okay. Um, but you know, so but they're all here. Um, mm -hmm. I mean, that's. I don't know a ton about the equipment. I do just know that service is a big thing, and. When the equipment's down, we get less work done, so. Right. How old is it? Or is it? Uh, oh, five? Oh. I think I had it on there, didn't I? It's oh five, wasn't it? Yeah, it's pretty old. Yeah. I think, yeah, I think that's right. I think so there's an old five. You don't know what the hours are on it. When it 544 J, 2005. Don't know. I don't think I have the hours, Joe. <coughs> <coughs> the old, the, well, they always might not, not even be accurate, it's hard to tell. But, uh, that might be on one of the trade-in sheets, I don't know. So the trade the trade in value for the Doosan is is fifty thousand too. So sure there was an email. Oh, my stuff's all out of order here. Um, yeah. <coughs> John Deere's price comes in the lowest, I guess, doesn't it? Well, oh. I think so. Yeah, it's by a little. I think so. Is it? No, I, I think the Doosan was the lowest no, after the trade in. <coughs> 
So, so can I ask you a question about the Doosan? Right? You can. <laughs> okay. So I know, and I had done some of my own math, and it looked like that what did come in under, but then there's like additional attachment products. Are those necessary? Like I don't. I mean, I don't know anything about this equipment, so. I believe it was just uh, requested by Chad. Okay. He was yeah. He was looking for the three yard bucket on the front end. Just a couple of stuff. Okay. So we'd have to get that anyway. Well, that's what I was wondering yeah. if this was like so extra than what the price was, but maybe already in the quotes for the other two. Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to they, figure out. So I didn't build that. And that's actually Jamie McCray, the, yep. the salesman for that. But, okay. Um, typically they come bare. Okay. And then you add your bucket, you either do a pin on bucket or a coupler with a bucket. and. There's a few different buckets that you can get. Okay. So it just depends on what you're doing, what you're using it for, all that stuff. But what you want, so you want the quick disconnect. That's what you want. Will, yeah, I believe that's in there. Yeah, the we, we have both. Yeah. We've got three of them loaders Especially up in our mill. If you're changing out buckets and stuff, you got to. Well, and you could hook the onto your John Deere whatever on the yeah. forks or Absolutely. many of things. Yep. And back to the service thing, you know, right up the road, we have two service trucks full time on the road. And that is one thing that everybody has said is that they can't believe the service that they get. Okay. So we're always, every day, we're looking at our computers, looking to make sure there's no codes on any of the machines. If there is, we're right on the phone, we're contacting whoever, you know, making sure everything's okay. And, uh, but that's one thing that a lot of our customers have mm -hmm. commented on is the service. Okay. <coughs> Volvo, you don't have a price on Volvo, but Volvo are quite popular uh, in some areas. I don't know where they're sold here in Vermont. I haven't looked for it, but uh, yep. uh, I see quite a lot of Volvo equipment. Uh, Volvo and Caterpillar are probably the. Well, Cat, I mean, <coughs> the Cat has a big market share. They've been around yeah. for a long time. I see this stuff where I deliver lumber. Yep. And, uh, there's a, a pile of Volvo uh, that has showed up in the last 10 years. Well, A. Johnson has a pile of orange stuff up there. Well, they got everything up there. <laughs> <laughs> I think they're about like us. They go to auctions and buy any damn thing. They bought quite a few new machines from us. They actually just bought a, another new loader from us. And they've been very, very happy with everything. I think Jamie told me there were a couple of municipalities, there's like Titano Wells, I think, is using yep. Doosan, and there was one other one he had mentioned. I can't remember now. Uh, not Paul, it's uh, <laughs> down that way. Rupert? No, it, was, it wasn't Rupert. It was kind of nice walking through the shop and not seeing a single one tore apart in there either. Like there was, there was well, something in there, but it wasn't a Doosan. You know, so. I'm not going to say they don't break down, everything breaks down, but we knock on wood. We haven't had a, you know, a lot of them broke down for any length of time. So. You said you, you said you had two techs on the road and two separate trucks? Yep. What kind of area are you covering with those two guys? All over Vermont. Just Vermont? That's all we're selling in. Okay. Yep. Doosan hasn't been, how many years, how old are they? They're a fair, relatively new company. Yeah, I mean, they've been around a little bit, but not as long as Cat and Deer. Not, uh, no, they're not one of the old standbys. They, no, they, but they have been proven. I mean, they've, they've oh, been don't, around long I enough. Don't doubt, you're not doubting your word there. People, people have really liked them. They're very smooth machine. Um, you know, they're not slow. They're not jerky fast either, but they're they're... A nice, smooth, well, well, well operating machine. Now, where are they made? Uh, now you're testing me. I don't, I don't sell those. I sell the trucks. But, <laughs> uh, they're foreign. Yeah, they're <laughs> you're correct. Yeah. <laughs> well, I would assume by the name they were, uh, they were foreign. Yeah, well, no, I'm just, you know, yeah. I realize, you know, Caterpillar, their parts they're are made Korean. all over the world, too, well, but good. still. Yeah, they're Korean. So we're Korean, Korean. Yeah, okay. So they come into uh, Georgia, and I guess final assembly and stuff like that, you know, on the bigger machines, it's put together down there, and then they come up here, but. Well, uh, what's the warranty on those? I'm not going to talk about that because I don't know that. <laughs> like I said, I sell the trucks. I'm actually here for a whole different reason. You guys just happen to be. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh, oh. <laughs> oh okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> 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 
I, well, I see the Ford, so I I'm know, thinking I you're not the I commercial assume. side. No, I am, but I sell the trucks, actually. Oh. Uh, I'm the commercial truck manager. But they are um, made in Korea. Yeah. Okay. 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 That's what Google says. There you go. North or <laughs> south? Well, you know, Google. <laughs> Any farther? I've already raced it. So, uh, I'm guessing oh. south. Yeah. yeah. They do have. They have a good warranty. I mean, it's very comparable to any of the others. And there's no smoke and mirrors with it. And you can get extended warranties. How long have you been a Doosan dealer up there? Yeah, those will be my questions. This is our third year. Yeah. Third year. Yeah. Uh, so. Yeah, I would think three or four. I've seen them sitting there. Yeah. Yeah. You, um, you folks probably brought them into Vermont, I would have guessed. Yep, we did. And we were one of the top ten <coughs> dealers in the country our first year. And we've, we've sold a pile of them the, the few years that we have sold them. So, so they've been a great product. They really have. And there's a lot of big companies that are actually buying from us that swore they'd never leave cat or deer or anything. Been good. Mm. I'm sitting here. And th these machines are all pretty much comparable, I believe. Yeah, I, I believe so. I didn't see the other quotes, right, but, um, but I, I, I would. I, I believe would. they all got a three-yard bucket on them. I, I yep. kind of glance. Yeah, those are it. priced into. Yeah, the other two. That's kind of yeah. standard. So well, yeah. that is an add-on on that one. You'll so, be. you guys did see the. The email from Jamie to chat where it says the total after trade is one hundred and thirty thousand eight hundred eighty-six. Does that include? And that's two fully add equipped, correct? That comes okay. with. We'll let her equip a three-ton additional counterweight. Uh, blah blah blah. Let's see. Quick coupler and three-yard bucket. Okay, right there. Yeah, yeah. included. Right. So it says included. MSRP. Then it has the town of Pittsburgh sale with the trade-in, um, which Jamie came down and looked at last week, I believe, um, and that's the price. Versus this one? Yeah. The, you've got go the, by the, the email, email one? Go by the email. Yes. Oh, yeah. There is a difference. I was confused. Yeah, I was confused. <laughs> at one, first. Quick, one quick question. You might know the answer is these quick disconnect and connects, are they interchangeable between machines or the fact that you have got one kind of a machine now and two or three attachments? Will that fit right onto the next machine, or there are some difference between the different? There machines? is difference between them. So you have to make some alterations to use some of our other equipment for yeah. other attachments. If it de that depends on what it is, pin size, all that stuff. It might work. I'm not gonna say it won't, but there there is some different ways and configurations and pin That's sizes and all that. Right. We have a John Deere. Well, we've got two or three different things that hook onto it. Whether or not they will slide right into any other machine, yeah. Yeah. that's what I was trying to find out. But yeah, that would be something that we'd have to come down and measure. Um, just check out pin size and, right, right. and all that stuff. I, I, I don't know what. And just because you know, that's a really good like you're comparing it to another new John Deere, that doesn't mean that that John Deere is going to be. Uh, able to just slide right into any and other stuff. Quick stuff. Quick so anyway, if the no. stuff changes, well, no, but all I've got a question. So we just bought this new mower that yeah, goes right. on the front yeah. of our loader. Yeah. Is yeah. it going to slide right yeah, into this, or are we going to have to spend money to adapt yeah, it? Probably I, have to look I just told him this was a very good question. We might have to change the connects on it. I, I really don't know. We could ask them. I mean, I think that's something. I'd, I mean, I'd, if it's a couple hundred bucks, that's one thing. But you know, it's not going to be. It's going to be a few thousand probably if we've got to change. It's hard saying without actually taking the measurements. Measurements, right? right. Mm -hmm. I know. Probably but phone call somewhere. Somebody ought to know that. They're going to need to know pin sizes and everything yeah. too. That's. I mean, just from being around it, the ten years that I have been, that's. My parts guy's first question, what's your pin size? So we're waiting you know? to find out. I, so the quotes are good until the 23rd, right? And so we meet again before then. Is this for us to find digest? out those questions. Yeah, I, I'd kind of like we to know. Chad well, yeah, I, yeah, I want, I don't, that's a big like one. that last yeah. truck where we had to get a different whatever. That's, we don't need to do that again. No. It, it, <laughs> is that stuff something that if I sent Jamie down tomorrow, he could come down, take a look, get the measurements we need? Like, I, I'll just out? call him do, tomorrow, Andy. Well, do Chad, we have? Chad and I will give him a call tomorrow, and we'll just. Okay. That's fine. Do we have that mower yet? 
Has that been delivered? I don't know, Dave. I'd have to yeah, look. Well, we mowed we'll 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 today, so maybe it did come. I'd, I'd have to <laughs> look. <laughs> well, I'm guessing they didn't mow with a scythe, yeah. so. <laughs> I don't want to buy a pig yeah. with a I don't think they're out there with the push mower, so. No. <laughs> the old one doesn't work very well. <laughs> Right. But so I guess that's something I would like to know yeah. before I, you know. Before I spend that kind of money. Yeah, right. before we end up with another yep. thing like with this last truck. Well, we've got at least three different attachments that I know of. We've got a broom, we got that mower, we got a fork, so we got a bucket. We got I don't know if the yeah, broom goes on the loader. I don't know if they go on the loaders. The broom goes on a tractor. That's oh, on the loader. Yeah. A big loader. I don't, think, I don't think you'd want that little broom on a big loader. I don't think you'd be able to see it. <laughs> no. <laughs> and if you hit something, you wouldn't even know it. <laughs> you so may be right. I think, that, I think that goes on a tractor, yeah. I think. Okay. Uh, Chad's not here. but This is branching off, but the same subject. Have we got our answers on that truck that we originally ordered yet in the actual communication? We were supposed to find out. Yeah, we were. I don't know what you guys are going to do about it. I mean, the truck was sold to another town. And no, 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 no. We were told what happened to the truck, yep. and it didn't happen to it that It didn't truck. happen to so, it. So we need to find out why we had so the, incorrect information. This is what, of course, I wasn't here when all this happened, okay. so I'm trying to put the pieces together. That yeah. The first truck didn't fall off anything. It did get in an accident. So this is what I'm hearing from the two, the two companies that were involved with it, that the truck got in an accident, and the someone might have been a little impatient and not getting a truck quick enough and that's how the other one came here that's <laughs> that so is that's not what, what we were told that's though. what i'm being told that's and not I, what we were not told. what we were told i i can try to put emails together but it's it's pretty vague we were told well, in I, shipment I, it was in a we was told, an told it was total, total. total. Right. yeah that's what was told to chad so. it was unrepairable I think we need to find out what happens so that we know who we're going to listen to next time and who we're not. Yeah. Right? Just don't buy an international next time. We'll be okay. <laughs> Thank you, Andy. But it's really not the How point. How I know that was going to uh, gonna be a noise from over there? Yeah, I, I don't know if we'll ever solve that riddle, Mark, to be honest with you, because someone else was here at the time. and Well, <coughs> I think we need to get from Chad where that yeah. came from. We need to clear this up because yeah. we were told one thing very clearly mm -hmm. and the decision was made based off inaccurate information yeah. exactly right so i think we do have to have an answer whether chad yeah. is ready for it to answer us next time or if we need to chase someone down i'll chase them down <laughs> but we we weren't given correct information on that yeah, truck right. and i don't we think that's not. very fair well, so. it cost us something too yeah, yes it, it did yeah so well the truck was completely built i think that was Whatever the urgency was was put to rest when it. It was when they told us ours was totaled and we weren't yeah. getting one for a year. Yeah. So I think we need to. I, I really want to find out yeah. what this chain of communication was because we were told the wrong information and we made a decision based on yes. that. Right. So I'll see what I can do please. to get that. I, Thank I, you. We've tried. Chad and I've tried this already, and it's sort of. Well, no more. Well, well to come choose your own adventure kind of thing. That's what Chad told us. So he had someone tell him. Let's just find yeah. out what it is. We yeah. get this straight. Okay. All right, is, is anybody? Cl is it Clarks? Can I ask that? It was Clarks on Fairfields. So the, the truck was an international, the one that we have now. That So the first truck was ordered from Clarks. No, the first truck was ordered from Fairfields. Fairfield. Okay. Let's we see did not order it from so Clarks. So that was the. That's where it's getting yeah, into a. Fairfields <coughs> is where it got screwed up. And that's where, so something happened with the truck along the way. Nobody, I don't know, I wasn't here. And they had this sort of ready to go truck that had all the accessories and everything on it and that's so that's what the town picked up in the end so and it doesn't have like well it it does now but it was having it had issues we'd spend on the shop more it's been yeah. on the road yeah. we ordered a truck we were told that it was totaled in transportation coming here and it wouldn't be able to get another one for a year so we had to make a decision on one that was available and we did because we had to have something for the snow season. And who did you buy that one from? Clark's. So, uh, yeah, I think the, tr the truck would have come from Clark. The accessories would have come from Fairfield. Right. No, but because I remember when we ordered this thing, it all, at least everything, was everything <coughs> is from Fairfield, which I found to be very strange. Because any, I mean, I've only been on here, well, going on five years, but every other thing we've bought 
You bought a truck from Kenworth. You bought a body from Viking. whomever. Viking, yeah. Viking or whoever. This one, Clips. it was a package truck that we bought this from This was Fairfield. the second one. Yeah, the whole No, no, the first one. Oh, yeah, the first, no, first one was a package truck. I thought from the first Fairfield. one was purchased from Clark and was shipped to Fairfield for. No, buying. I don't believe so. I, I thought that's what yeah, I understood. I, thought I, thought I don't think so. No, because I found it strange at the time that we were buying a whole package. Because Clark's the one that, when I talked to them a couple before we picked the truck up, said, Oh, by the way, the, your first truck's here. I'm like, What? <laughs> and so that was at Clark's. Hmm. So I, I no, but no, but we that truck may have been at Clark's, but we bought the whole thing from Fairfield. Right. So I'm sure the truck came into Clark, but it was supposed to go to Fairfield, get set up. We bought everything from Fairfield, <coughs> the truck and the body, everything. <coughs> Is a complete unit, I think. Yeah. I mean, we can go back and yeah, find it, but that's is how I remember it, because I thought it was weird. So that's why it sticks in I my think mind. I have like Chad brought me in a folder from Clark for the original truck purchase. I'll, I can I'll grab that stuff and we'll see what we can. Didn't do they have trouble sure. with the body they put on the second truck one right for the? It was there's a whole bunch too of too low. Yeah, it was uh, uh, sander really wasn't ready. It was all okay. started off being he wrong color. I went away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. It, all sound, it does sound odd. Fairfield doesn't usually sell trucks. Right. If they do, they're usually owned by a, a dealer. You know, if they put together a demo or something like that, it'll still be sold to you by the dealer because that's who has to transfer the MSO and actually legally sell it. Hmm. So yeah. I think it has something to do with, like, because is it Allegiance that owns, like, all yeah. of these companies? Right. So that's what yeah. I was getting at is yeah. that if, if that's who you purchased it from, go right to the top because yeah. you won't get anywhere with any, like, JMB yeah. or Clark's that you got to go right to the yeah. right Clark's to the was good with it last time. I mean, it's, it's the truck's still running, so. Well, that's good. So most of the trend since I've been here. All right, so, so we Dave will get us questions about the loader and we'll revisit it at the next meeting? I think so. Correct. All right, uh, fuel bid results. So we have those in front of you and made a nice spreadsheet that shows the prices. Um, as you see in the notes, you know, the, the contract terms are all over the place because of this, you know, the S5 legislation that nobody yep. wanted to go longer than two years on it. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, it looks like a couple things to consider, like Suburban showed the lowest price for propane, but to swap tanks out, it's going to cost $400 because they won't use someone else's tanks. Um, and that's a one-year contract only. Factor Gas was the next one with, you know, $1.799 for two years. Um, now, are we with Proctor Gas now? We're with Proctor right now. So there'd be no tank there'd be switching no tank now. change. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, as far as uh, heating oil, Champlain Valley, well, you see the on-road, the off-road, Champlain and Marcel's are the same. The heating for Champlain is, is five cents cheaper. Um, that's for a one-year contract, and Marcel's did say that they could serve, be our service, service our boilers and everything, too. Because um, right now we don't really have anybody that's doing any service work for us. Was so. Marcel's three? Excuse me? They're willing to go three years? It doesn't say. No, he did a no. one. He did one. He did one. Yeah. Okay. But he basically is basically the same <coughs> as Champlain except for the heating oil. But he but does he have a cap of 375. He did a cap on his that was better, and I know that we weren't, that wasn't happening here this past year, so. Right. Not a bad thing. Cap is not no, a bad no, thing. I didn't know. Especially when you got an open bottom end. Yeah. That's about mm -hmm. well diesel jumped what? Nine to yeah. 10, 20 cents, 30 cents today in Middlebury. Mm -hmm. Again, it'd be nice to have someone local that can service stuff that we can call and say, hey, we have a problem and they're here today. I think I think there's a there's a value to that. So, um, I, w I would recommend Proctor Gas for propane and Marcel's for our fuel and servicing. Yeah, I would go. I'll make a motion. I, I just have a question. Sorry. Okay. Um, so, but also because, um, hold on. 
the Champlain lists, like, I mean, it's all going to be for the same locations, right? Like a library, every, like Marcel will do. Well, the library is in our contract, but, but they, they pay their own. They pay their right, own. Right, but I just, I just, just okay, I just yeah. want to make sure, because Champlain <coughs> specifically mentions the library being, okay, yeah. so that's all, that's the question. Oh, no, Marcel's were great. I mean, they, they came in and talked to us quite a few times on stuff and okay, looked good. at the invoices and things, and so. Yep, okay. Yeah. yeah. So I would make a motion that we go with Marcel Oil Company for our um, on off road diesel heating fuel and Proctor Gas for our propane. I'll second that. All in favor say aye. 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 Okay. All right. Um, our RFP for audit services for uh, fiscal year 22 23. So we didn't get any. Any um, proposals in? Okay. So, um, and has talked to some some folks at the league and stuff too about maybe a list of auditors that we could send RFPs to directly. So we'd like to try that again mm -hmm. and see what happens. I do have a call into Sullivan and Powers just to see if maybe we can have a conversation and see what happens, but. Um, I think we're probably going to just put another RFP out and send it directly to some firms. So, so you're talking about our annual yeah. yearly audit. Yeah. What about the recommendation in our most recent audit that we have a special audit? So we're trying to figure out who does the fraud um, thing. That's another thing we got. Actually, Ann and I have a meeting with some folks next Wednesday. So we're going to see if we can get some, some suggestions on how, who does that work as well. Um, and a lot of the other stuff that was in there we've done with a lot of the policy stuff like I said to you guys and the get one of the names off the, the checking account or the check this check signing thing so um, that's happened but so the the first deficiency there's three right uh, I think there was more than three in there Mark. Well, there's one on the grants receivable and deferred inflows of resources, correct? Yep. And then there was one on the segregation of duties, which you so said that one you've we handled took care that, of right? When we saw the draft come in, that yeah. is officially off the checking account as of July one. Yeah. And there'll be more than two people on yes. that, right? Liz and I will still be. Okay. Yeah. So um, the grants, this this inflow is that one we got to address. So I think it's how the grant. I think it's how the grants are being put in to the to the to the budget because it's showing. I know we we go through it every year with and most towns do when you get your class two paving money and it shows it as this huge expense, but that doesn't really offset it. I think that's what they mean on this. Mm -hmm. But I mean, I think that's something we can discuss during budget season too. So well, long as we're addressing it, because yep. I do think we should address all these deficiencies. Definitely. And oh, I agree. And the third deficiency was the recommendation of a uh, is this a limited staff limited staff part they requested there was a list I think yeah, it was these three are in the back of the audit that's what I was yeah Auditors in recommended in the past changing the uh, uh, payroll to buy it yep. every other week instead of every week. Yes. But we've never done that. No. Well, we, we tried. We tried. To. We tried. <laughs> we tried. <laughs> we tried. Well, we've been talking about it here recently, but it's well, apparently we voted we to do it. We voted to do it so for or tried to do it. Not until we got stopped. Well, I do think we have to check. Two weeks. Yeah. Didn't work. I think we should check with that other firm if they have the ability to do that or not. I mean, that was just that one ADP. Well, that I did think not we'll have, have to talk about it yeah, we'll another time. Yes. Exactly. Yeah, so yeah. Later this evening, I think we have to have a conversation. All right. Well, um, but I do think that if that's a recommendation that would free that, we should do that. Yeah. Dave. Yeah. Well, like I said, we're meeting with some folks next Wednesday um, on s something else, and we're going to bring it up then on who we can find for to do a lot of on fraud and what else we can do so else on that? Oh. homeless
population discussion. So, we've gotten some calls on this, and Alicia and I have talked about it a little yeah, bit, Yeah, I know. People have reached out to me wondering if people are going to, now that they're leaving the hotel, is going to end up in the wreck. Can so, I just for information that the purpose is on here is like the executive order and um, that was per, you know, put out by the league and then the governor's directives on this too. Um, I don't know if we're even going to have a problem. I you know, don't, I don't suspect we would, um, but I, th you know, warranted, I guess enough of it. I, I thought it was interesting in this, you know, the one the leaks on the back page where it says, um, it directs the commissioner of public safety and f director of fire safety with input from local boards of health or other municipal officials to inventory currently uninhabited or abandoning housing units, including mobile homes and mobile home lots and county economic centers. Um, that could be brought back into the housing market. So okay. we'll see if someone reaches out to us, yeah. I guess. But um, And we already have an overnight camping van, right? The whole rec area and all of town land. I'd have to look that I up. Don't I think we do. 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 No? I don't. Do you remember that, Helen? I don't. I don't. I don't. I don't. No, because we used to camp there at Boy Scouts. We camped there. I used to camp there, yeah. All I, don't, right. I don't think we have enough amenities within walking like I, I, I don't suspect that would be the case either no. but well, I don't know why we're just worried about town land what about people's private land yeah. well, that, too. That's not, I mean, that shouldn't be our problem there though that should I mean that's a private land owner land problem, probably. yeah okay so we just do whatever we want yeah, to do what we ever want well. <laughs> <laughs> well no I mean that's I mean yeah, I've, well, kicked, I've, well, I've kicked them off that's a before. trespass issue you called them well, well they've been in the woods on the side of seven you get out yeah. you know you oh, got to tell them to go yeah. We yeah. had a problem one uh, time over here, out by the haunted house. That happens uh, occasionally. Well, yeah. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. Basically, okay. kids, I think it was. But all I don't summer. know. I was down in Rutland this weekend, and it didn't look any different than it had. So I, I don't know what's you know maybe it'll sort itself out. But that's really all like that's all that's being discussed about it right now. Yeah. So. Okay. Where rumor is a lot of those people came from out of state. They might be going back. Yeah, so they may go back, back where they came from. Yeah. Yeah. But just wanted to throw that in front of you folks that that has been a yep. pretty hot topic lately and it was discussed at the breakfast on Monday. Too. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Yeah. So we spent $191 million on this program, $54,000 for our hotel room and our tax dollars. Uh -huh. Yes. Yep. Think how many tiny homes that could have been done with that. Well, that could have been done with that. On state land somewhere. And there you go. That one hotel owner that owns five yeah, yeah. is a millionaire now. That's Vermont. That's Vermont. That's the actual staff that's in the governor's statement. Yep. Yep. 191 million. Crazy. And they get an exit check too. I yeah, I know. Like thirty-three hundred dollars. Wow. I don't think many are going to get that because I, that know, I think the hotel the owners are mostly like keeping it. Yeah. 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 And most of those hotel <laughs> owners are going to say, ah, there's more than $3,300 of damage. Damage. Right? Yeah, oh, yeah. It won't come back. Yeah. But still, that's that's added on to the 190 Oh, yeah. Right? No, I know. Right. It's ridiculous. It's a lot of money. 54000 <laughs> per room per year. I think they were making like twenty-five thousand dollars a night. One hundred and forty-eight a room per room per day. Yeah, I know like they were letting hotel owners name their price. Like twenty-five thousand a night, those hotels were making. I think they all figured it out. All right. Anyway. I know. I could complain about that all night. But yep. let's, move let's move on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Chittenden police contract. So that. Um, Chief and I redid that with uh, the town of Chittenden you no know, couple weeks ago. Um, it did increase by about 10% overall. So the plus the an added 20 right for <coughs> fuel. Yep, that's on there. And so, but the 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 pay rate, the salary, I guess we should call it, yep. went up just about 10%. So um, they were happy with the. They wanted this the con services to continue the way they have been and. Um, was that hourly rate also for um, animal control officer? It, it so like it was. there's, it's, it is, and we broke. It was broke down in a different hour. So, okay. yeah, it covers it covers rich and, um, yeah. Okay. So, I don't think they, I don't think they've exceeded or even gotten to, like all of the funds this year. So it's you know it's good that there's some wiggle room because I mean Rich has gotten busy in the last month or so. So. In Chindon? Or here? Just everywhere, okay. you know, so we'll see if the warm weather brings out more mischievous activity, I guess. Okay. 
we need a vote on that? It was or Chief and I signed it, yeah, right. so it was okay. just, yeah. All right. All right, recreation director position. So, unfortunately, Jen has um, given notice. She's taken a job elsewhere. Um, she said she could stay on until August. Um, I, I did start a, a job description, and one th I asked her for some input on it, too, and the one thing that she recommended was there was nothing in it when she took the, accepted the position about economic development. Right. So we added a little bit of that in there um and you know i'd, I'd like to get the job posting out like tomorrow mm -hmm. um we have a couple of folks that already want to talk to us so i guess just trying to figure out how you guys want to go forward with the hiring process i mean i i i think like someone from the rec committee and someone from the select board and myself my and, and jen obviously yeah um would be more than enough I to do that. That's great. Yeah. 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 Yep. Okay. Yeah. Um, and just you guys just want to throw that job description there, see if there's anything that, that I've missed out. I mean, that's, I think if Jen's there, and I've got a deadline for June 30th, because it'd be nice to have someone work with her for a few weeks to really, and I think that oh, would absolutely. be the best. Yeah. Um, so um, I'm actually meeting with a possible candidate tomorrow to see if they want to pursue the next step and I know Jen said that she's I talked with someone so once we get the formal process up you know it'll be good so there is some interest um, and I think Jen actually someone has stepped down from the rec committee and she'd like to be on it which I think oh, it's would be great. phenomenal that would, yeah so, that'd be great oh, yeah. you know because then they'd have her there too and yeah it would be great yeah yeah okay. Well, we had several that were interested in it when we yep. hired her. Mm -hmm. I don't know if there's any of them that are still available or was Yeah, we could, you know, put some feelers out for that, but I think if, you know, we get this in sooner than yeah, later and get it in the local paper, paper yeah. and put it on them. Something needs to be done. Yeah. Sure. yeah, but it's just nice, like, you know, sometimes word of mouth, you, you find, you know, especially with, like Jen's already someone to talk to her who she's like I think you'd really like this person right and, right you know that goes a long ways too right. so especially if they're local yeah. again yep. mm -hmm. a lot tonight I haven't mm -hmm. a lot mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so if you know I can we'll reach out to the to the rec committee and see who might be interested in doing that and whoever wants to on the select board let me know okay, All right. um, okay. Uh, anything on the orders we did. Kelly, did you, the, the number was one hundred and seventy-one thousand three hundred and fifty-two dollars and fifty-six cents. Which is different than that was on. So it's one seventy. One seventy-one three fifty-two fifty-six. Okay. Thank you. Yep. But we pulled. Yeah, we pulled an invoice out of it. It was a Medicare one that Helen and I both challenged last yes. month, and I was like, "Why is this on here again?" Huh. So we're not quite sure, and okay. um, we're Helen's on it again. She's gonna. I cracked a whip on some pieces. So it's just <laughs> one invoice? <laughs> yep. Okay. Yeah, it was the medic. It's or something. It was. C M S C. This one right here. So oh, okay. Okay. Yep. Okay. So any questions on those? questions on the orders? Yes. 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 <laughs> I had one here. I, I see the fire department uh, bottle water 157.62. Uh, I'm just wondering, we went through that clear back when Linda Wheaton was on the board, this was many years ago. Uh, why don't they uh, use the town water and have so, a so this is cooler? This is this kind of water. You don't take a cooler to a fire scene. So you have to buy bottled water instead yeah. of having a cooler for people to drink? Yeah. Our, our, our water, the town water, it seems like it's an insult to the people of Pittsburgh. Joe, no. you have to set, this goes on the trucks with us. Oh, all right. In containers. Well, I can yeah, understand that. Yeah, no, it's not what we drink in right. the I, I thought yeah. that they, no. the bottled water. They, they were, they were uh, uh, buying bottled water. That must be for the year. Instead of drinking, uh, they had bottled water. We go through a lot of water on fire scene. Yeah, that. They had bottled water here 
Especially lately. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. what? Twice a year, you said roughly. Roughly, too, yeah. It depends on much you use. Well, that's a different different situation than yep. what I was. Because one time you had a bottle of water here in this office, and, and then it was decided, well, we down at the town garage, they bought a cooler or, or a fountain, hooked it right into the system. Mm. Okay. We have some expired water in cans here. You're more than welcome to have <laughs> <laughs> How does water expire? It has an expiration date. Really? Really? That, really? that Anheuser Busch water. Those have you seen those around? Yeah. Just like tires. Yeah. Yeah. It, it actually does not taste well, good. It does. Yeah. 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 The water. I mean, that's why it was. Yeah. That's, that's why it was free water over, 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 over and over again. It tasted just like an expire. Actually, we didn't pay for that water. Water in one of the bottles after a certain length of time. If you want to send those down, we can start signing those. Oh, I've got a question, but oh. There's wait, oh, sorry, Dave's got a question. Okay. So there's a bunch of stuff from United Steelworkers. What's that? I've never seen that before. Yeah. So <laughs> well, so this is interesting because we were Ann and I were talking about this too. It's stuff for, for payroll and it's the yeah. it's the union dues that are but we're wondering why they're coming out of the gen like that. I mean it's all it's all relative, but it's always been signed oh, off as on the payroll. Payroll, payroll right. And Ann came to us and asked us to run all the payroll on the regular order. So, oh, okay. So it's just a regular, yeah. It's yeah. Very so there's there's actually three payrolls in here, guys, just so I know. All right. And that's everything. Did, uh, did you want to do liquor? We could do, do a liquor commission so they're not waiting around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, so we'll recess, um, recess the meeting to and open up as a liquor board. Oh, man. Of course, I lost the paper. All right, so we have, so for Keith's and for Hilltop, any information There's on been, those? There's been no problems Nothing, with either right? of those, right? So, well, Andy and Aaron are the new owners of the Hilltop. Oh, that's oh, what you're here oh, for. It's very oh, confusing. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Well, we, we kept this secret oh, yeah. for the whole no, no, no. <laughs> <laughs> July, right? Yeah. Mid July. All right. Oh. All right. All right. Cool. We have yeah. Mays and Brandon right now. Oh, okay. Um, yep. So oh. we're branching out. Great. Cool. Tell us what your plans are. This thing is up. Uh, so to start with, we're going to do one to nine um, Wednesday through Sunday. And. Uh, Hopefully by football season we'll be able to open up Mondays um, for Monday Night Football. Mm -hmm. Monday night. That's the plan. Nothing too crazy. Start small. We're going to do some food, obviously. And beer, wine, and liquor. And we have first class now at Mays. And we've had, we in the past have had first and third um, liquor licenses at the last place that we owned. Great. When you guys get closer to opening, well, we'll work with you. I mean, I, you know how to get a hold of me, but let's let's talk with economic development stuff too. Yeah. Yeah, we want to. Yeah, we have plans for it, and we want it to be, you know, thriving again. I think it's good for the town to have a watering hole. It's nice to have another place for the food too. Yeah. 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 We're planning yeah. on adding. Yeah. Great. It's good news. Congratulations. Thank you. Yeah, we're like a big part of the branding community. I'm sure Dave can tell you, but um, we try to stay involved and, you know, sponsor things. And, and for the rumor mill sake, Maze is going to stay the same <laughs> in Brandon. We're not closing that. We're not moving. This is additional. Okay. So I'm sure you'll get questions about yeah. that. So. It's exciting. It is. Thank you guys for coming to Pittsburgh. Yeah. I know. Yeah. It was hard to keep a secret with that, Andy, actually. I was like, <laughs> I you have no idea. Yeah. So I'll make a motion that we approve both of those licenses. Second. Those licenses. Neither, D -O -A -N -E neither of yep. them have had transfers come in where the property is actually transferred Aaron. to the new ownership. So, so we'll have to do this twice, we'll or we should wait? Well, you can, uh, we can, you can approve just it for, tell us for not now. to process it until the okay well is, isn't that open now still yeah 
but they probably have a current one. Yeah. Their license is Oh, so this is a new one for you guys. Yes. Okay. Okay. All right. Uh, yeah, we're just hoping to get it going so we can get everything in place so we can just yeah, actually... Yeah, smooth transition. If we pre-approve it. We can, yeah, we can approve it. Yeah. So we need to separate them. So I'll make a motion to approve Keith's. Second it. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 And now I'll make a motion to approve the hilltop, uh, pre-approval of the hilltop. So All in favor say aye. 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 Thank you very much. Yeah. Good luck. Thank you. The official name is going to be The Hilltop Tavern. Okay. The. Yeah. All right. Great. All right, we'll come cool. out of liquor board, come back into... Yeah. Right. Oh, our regular board to, I guess, then be done with open meeting. <laughs> so, all right, well, thank you, everyone. Yeah.